Welcome to Pack Facts. I'm Dr. Devin Paulus Compart, Technical Service Manager with Papillon. In this video, I'm going to talk about exogenous enzymes, including what they are, how they work, when you should use them, what a typical response might be, and how to select an enzyme. Let's start by defining enzymes. Enzymes are proteins that catalyze reactions in the body. They're extremely critical to the breakdown of food in our stomachs and intestines. Now there's two types of enzymes. You can have endogenous enzymes. Those are ones that are produced by the body. On the other hand, you can have exogenous enzymes. These are enzymes that are produced outside of the body. Now when we think about ruminant diets and we hear the word enzymes, what we're talking about is those exogenous enzymes, so ones produced outside of the animal. Typically, they're going to be coming from bacterial and fungal sources and being put into livestock diets. There are quite a few enzymes approved for use in livestock diets, including things like amylase, hemicellulase, cellulase, pectinase, xylanase, beta-glucanase, and phytase, just to name a few. So why do we use enzymes? Enzymes are used because they help support feed utilization by the animal. They do this in two primary ways. The first way is by physically attaching to feedstuffs and starting to break them down. This makes them more available to rumen microbes as well as to the animal's digestive tract. The second way that enzymes support utilization of feedstuffs is by increasing attachment and enzymatic activity of rumen microbes to the feed. This means that the rumen microbes are better able to break down feed that would typically be challenging for them to utilize. So when should enzymes be used? The first is when feeding moderate to low quality feedstuffs that might be challenging for rumen microbes to break down. The second is in high producing cows. High producing cows often are struggling to meet their energy needs and enzymes can help them get a little bit more nutrients out of their diet. The third time is during periods of stress. During periods of stress, animals are often eating less than they normally would, but also have higher energy requirements. Enzymes can help them get a little bit more nutrients out of their feed and support those energy needs. So what are typical responses when feeding an enzyme? Typically, you're going to see increased nutrient digestibility, for example, improvements in total tract fiber or starch digestibility. You'll often also see improvements in things like growth or milk production as the cow is getting more energy out of the diet, or potentially improve reproduction. And finally, you'll often see reductions in frequency, severity, or duration of illness as the animal is able to get more energy out of her diet and use that energy to manage disease. So how does one go about selecting an enzyme? I have three key tips when selecting an enzyme. One of the challenges with exogenous enzymes in ruminant diets is that data is fairly limited because of the wide variety of enzymes available, diets they're put into, and the doses tested. So using these three tips can help you pick an enzyme that will hopefully be a good fit for your herd. The first tip is to look for a blend of enzymes. Utilizing a blend of enzymes should lead to more consistent improvements in feed utilization across a variety of diets and ingredients. My second tip is to look for data on enzyme efficacy. This would include data showing improvements in nutrient digestibility or health and performance parameters in both the diets and life stages of interest. My third tip is to look for enzyme guarantees on the product label. Companies can describe their products as being enzyme-based products even if the enzyme content is very low. Having a guarantee on the product label ensures that you're getting high and consistent levels of that enzyme in every dose. To learn more about Papillon's customizable solutions or how we can help you find the best way forward, visit papillon-egg.com.